switching it up. This actually looks What's up everyone? We're at Matt Baker's house and he's gonna show us his rides. He's a real street contender and he's been racing with us for a couple years now. He's got uh, two hot rods and he's raced both of them in our class so he's pretty deep in. Uh, what's up man? How are you? Good, good. Yeah? You ready to show us your cars? Sure. One, one at a time, which one do you want to do first? Um, well, I guess we can start with the we can start with the one actually what? racing in real street these days. Okay, so uh, which one is that? How long you got that car for? You want blue one. Okay. Uh, had it probably a good 20 years now. Uh, got pulled out of a guy's front yard for about 500 bucks. It was pretty beat up. It smashed in the front. Uh, it's still not perfect, but throw a little paint on it. So you can at least get your picture, you know, in a magazine or whatnot. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that's what, growing up, that's what you live by. That's, that's all you, that's you, that's you, you want to see. I always had a stack of magazines sitting on the coffee table or in the car. Well, and, even if we got uh, a tiny little picture in the corner yeah, exactly, of the yeah. car, they took a picture of this yeah. car and then your hood pops up and yeah. you're like, bro, my car's in the magazine. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's what it was, yeah. And, and it's pretty much just been cobbled together. I, I was never big on being super perfect i was always more big on just get it running get it running and just get it running and get it done. have fun get it done you know if the wiring is a little cobbled if it's just a rat's nest but it works and i know where everything goes that's all that matters yeah you know work over the years just minor upgrades here and there but the car's still not perfect never will be i'm not like that I just like to go out and have fun. If it gets a scratch, a dent, as you can tell, boxes have fallen on it. Yeah. Um, yeah stuff has just happened to it. It's not really that big of a deal, you know, just if it's a scratch, what, what to do, you know? <sighs> Back to the 67 over here. Not much on the interior. Uh, when I was uh, young and dumb, I thought it'd be cool to have a tan painted, you know, nah, whatever. It was just to keep the rust from going. It was supposed to be a rust inhibitor and I tinted it tan. It didn't work very well. <laughs> so, and I haven't, I haven't had the interest of peeling it back out yeah. or getting back in there. It's a lot of work. Uh, oh yeah. I could probably just throw some carpet in it and nobody would know. Yeah. I just haven't got around to it. Um, I did kind of do the carpet in the back a little bit. I started working on it and then gave up. Well, we, I think we had a race coming up like the week before and I was like, ah, you know what, this is too much. So, but the, yeah, I just did aluminum door panels. Uh, nothing fancy. I just cut them out from work. And, yeah, you work in the metal stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, I work at Industrial Metal Supply. So. There you go. It trimmed them up and I don't ask me why I did the hole here. I can't remember why I did the hole here. I'm not sure. It, there was a reason for it. I think I was put, I had something hanging. Oh, a cup holder. I had a cup holder hanging right here. So when I was driving. Oh, okay. Yeah, it fit perfect right there. I, but I think the cup holder disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. But that, I put the stock seats back in for, for, for the real, real street. street. I took my, I had a Kirky all welded in here and really nice. And I cut it all out and, uh, um, probably should have kept the Kirky in here because it was safer, but I still had to have a, a passenger seat. Um, so I just put the stock ones back in and probably not the safest ones to, they're pretty shot. So probably need to get some good buckets here soon. <laughs> um, had a buddy, uh, I wanted to take so I can still remove it. So it's still uh, a removal it's, cage. It, it's still, it's chromoly. 
um, 083 or 085, 083, and uh, I had it comes apart here, but I have these short enough. So if I tilt it forward, take the steering wheel off, I can actually finagle it out of the car. Wow. Because I do want it, you know, if I ever wanted to put it in another car, I yeah. could. You can take it with yeah. you. Yeah, and we did this on the door bars, and I did check this out with, you know, NHRA, and they said, that's that's fine. Yes. Yeah, they said, that's perfect. And um, I, I, Obviously, I haven't gotten powder coated yet. I'm not. I, yeah, dude, this looks I, fucking cool. I kind of like this. the raw look, to be honest yeah. with you. And like the little nice bikes. And I did do the carpet, but it looks like it fell apart. Oh man. Nice. Alright, whatever. Uh, and that's your ignition box? Yeah, I'm running an old school Mallory. Um I forget where I got that. Somebody gave it to me uh because they didn't like it. And or no, it needed to be fixed. All it was was a blown fuse inside. I yeah. had Mallory fix it. And it worked, it's been working fine since, so no no point in changing it for me if it's working. I actually have a spare that I bought brand new when they were still in business. I like how you did that right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this? Yes. That's, yeah, that's I see really everybody cool. always takes them and they put them here so they have a weird angle to them. And they break and then and they, they crack. And then they zip tie them. Yeah. Well, the zip tie is kind of weird, so I just cut it like that and then I say, hey, is that cool? And then the tech guy was like, yeah, it's perfect. Is yeah. That as well, long as it's on there and it protects your head, no it's problem. It's crazy how we all do yeah. the same thing, but everybody does it a little different. Yeah. And everybody yeah. just does it, like, even if it's a little different, I've never seen that. And I've been looking at race cars for a long time. That looks pretty cool. I don't know, we just took the hacksaw, cut some pieces, and it's, I bought the stuff with the adhesive on it, so it sticks on its own. And, and same same setup here, but this one doesn't have an 84 gate. Not yet. I no, need to I get one. one. You're going to put one on there. I, I have the bung welded in the exhaust, but... Uh, that exhaust needs to go as you can tell that's a cool, in the apron but that's a cool steering wheel just a grant woods grant wood steering wheel that's pretty cool yeah it works and then for shifting i gotta have a dream bird shifter right got him i don't okay, think so there's I, anything you, you gotta support him too you know I mean, uh, doug has always been a big inspiration of mine i mean i've always he's every question i've had he's always here. A super helpful guy huh? super helpful yeah yeah i mean but besides them being cool like that that shifter you can't beat it like i've tried a bunch of shifters i probably have six shifters on my car well you can't beat it for the price either i mean everybody always complains oh they're too expensive but yeah but you're getting something made in the u.s and, and they back feels your product it like feels better than yeah, anything else they though. back their product and if you have an issue with it they'll fix it and like my the one in my white car was worn out I and mean, then i've had that for 20 years yeah i sent you know i took it down there and they rebuilt it and it's like brand new again yeah and looks exactly the same yeah they, right. uh, they just re it or whatever they did yeah put a new reverse cable in it for the lockout how about your wheels right here what do you have these are nice um Orco sixes they're sixes and then the, and the you know, 215, the, the 215. This is a tire that most of the class is running. Yeah, you can go what, one bigger, right? Yeah, one bigger. One bigger. Yeah. The other one, which is the one that Jesse and I are on right now. I'm still on the fence about it. But I don't like those other ones. I'm gonna go back to this one. I, I'm on the fence about these. These have been a little bit different to get used to for me. I'm you wanna, used to, you wanna... I'm used to the regular slicks. Oh, okay, yes, because so it's a different hidden... Ti different tire pressures with these ones. Uh, definitely different launching RPMs. Definitely can't, I can't launch at my normal 8500 like I like to. So, oh, like on the six inch slick, even though it on fits these. A, Yes. Yeah, on, on the, my six inch slick, which they're not on rims right now, um, I, had, I swapped them out, but I can, I can launch at 8500 on those, and that's where I would get those big yeah. power wheelies.
He's got two runners. What's up? All right, so this is another homie that just got in and went like into the class and then won a couple of times and you got runner up. And then one once, one once. When I was in Waco. With, with this one. Yeah. <laughs> and then, against, against who yeah. that win was? Uh, that was against... Uh, uh, Jesse? No. No, uh, it was uh, Mike Jones? Mike Jones, yes. Yeah, it was against Mike Jones. Against, against Mike, yeah. And then a couple runner-ups after that. Yeah. But, of course, Chris got me once. <laughs> in the finals with a big wheelie. Yeah. Yeah, all I saw was uh, his tire my my sound in my car. But and now you're focusing all your attention on this one. Yeah, it's just that one's a street car, and then yeah. this is going to be the, the, real, street the, real, street, the real street car. Yeah, Yeah. so um, it's still a street, streetable car. You can drive it. It's, it's registered and insured. And that's, yeah, that's pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah full body, no cutting. Yeah, yeah, no cutting, still all metal. And uh, you see, if you guys want to go with, down to the essentials of the car, all it needs, the bare minimal that you need on a car, and then a badass motor, and that's it. That's very nice. Yeah. A nice gear. There's a lot of cars out there with nice motors. A lot of you guys are out there just sitting there, just standing, uh, watching from the side stands and stuff. But uh, all your car needs is a set of wheels and a gearbox. Gearbox, and, and you're in. Like yeah. just go to your wherever you want to have your transmission done. A good gearbox. gearbox. Bro, give me a short eight mile. Yeah, on uh, gearbox, and uh, that's it. You, you'll be able to compute it. Well. You might want to add a mid mount and a traction bar with a lot of cars already have. So it's not like a full blown race car that is designated for the track only, and you have to bait it and treat it in a trailer everywhere you go, and and it becomes this. It could be a burden at one point, man, because you have a <laughs> badass car that you can't even. Like you have family or you can even take them down the street because it's just not a street car anymore. Yeah, like one seat in it, can't take for a ride. Yeah. It has to be trailered everywhere. So these are super cool because they're they run like race cars, but they're still you can go to the store and go with your girlfriend and get ice cream and book it to have a little fun in a ride. Yeah. So give me whiplash. I even took my race car motor and turned it <laughs> back in. He's done that. <laughs> so you didn't tell me you were going. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we expect you to read our minds. So clearly, and yeah. Then, you know. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, All thanks right. for showing us your car. Yep. And I uh, hope to see you out there. And hopefully we see both of you guys out there that want to eventually jump in and hang out with us and drive along. Come and join us. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yep. And uh, we got more money coming this year. And we got, um, hopefully we can get more players. Players.